Welcome to Arkham Tech at Arkham Pilsen. Today, I have the pleasure to invite Gilberto Prado. He is in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and he teaches at the University of Sao Paulo. His lecture is about recent researches of the Poeticas Digitais group. Gilberto, the screen is yours. Okay. Can I can I go then? Yes, yes, you are online and you are on the screen. Okay, Doc, well, you start. Good afternoon from Sao Paulo, Brazil. And Dobre den from uh, Sao Paulo. It's a pleasure being uh, being together online. I would like to begin by thanking everyone's presence and the possibility of being here together. A special thanks to Nathan Kajma for inviting me to be part of the seminar. And all the team from Ladislav Satna, Sutna Faculty of Arts and Design at Pilsen. I want to share with you in this communication some recent projects developed by Poeticas Digital Digitized Group related to the theme of visible and invisible force. All the questions related are how to dialogue with the construction of the context in which the public is part of a large collaborative system related to the environment. So, I will speak a little bit, then I show you some videos and some slides about the, the projects of uh, the, the works of uh, developed by our group. But about your, come back now again to our questions. In, in what the words, how do you make visible the various vectors and forces that form or cross through our circulation routes, even if we don't notice them ourselves? And how can we work together with them? Experiencing public space is not necessary about getting from A to B from one place to another more quickly. So, how to produce a city that similarly is not just about acceleration, but which brings a sense of belong and shui? How does this path change in real time in response to the devices, which are constantly updating the journey and offering us other possible routes? recalculate our detours the whole time. How to map out and activate spaces with new artifacts and devices. How to propose deviations and bring other points of view and experience. How to slow down on a journey each time multitasking more. So, some layers may seem interesting to overlap. The first would be the layer of signs that are apparent and that guide flows. The second layer, the mapping of paths, signs, or situations that are not so evident in our metropolises, which cross them from underneath or at different frequencies and are less noticeable. This type of interest also guides some of the works by the Poetica Digitized group, such as Desluz and Amoreira projects. I will show you that very soon. In which you have flows and movements that are not in, in our visible or audible tracks and frequencies, but that affect us in some way. In the same line of conception of this project, it's a neutral zone, a river flows inside of me. That also poetically explores these tracks and frequencies using antennas to neutralize energy, fork sticks to find water, and mobile phones to reconstruct underground river routes. The projects are a start point 
I share the, I start to, to screen share, okay? Yes, yes. That's it. We got it. So, well, perfect. The projects are the start point in revealing the current relationship with city, some of which are crystallized and to eventually generate the potential to destabilize the subject of conventional movements and route following the path. So, I will present to you very succinctly a few recent projects of the Poetico Digital Group, as you can see here in the screen. And you have the address, the web address here in the in the screen. So you can see my personal web address, so you can find my personal projects. And also here in the other address, you can find the group's projects. Okay. So we started this this group in 2002, but in uh, it's really beginning in '95. Like I myself, uh, Nathan asked me to, to tell a little bit about my my artist feed, feedback. I started working on art in the art in the end of the 70s, beginning of the 80s. So in the beginning, I worked with male art, and uh, in the, uh, almost in the same time, I started to work in the with art and technology. So then, the digital group I started in the university. Uh, I, I teach in the visual arts department in the School of Communication Arts of Sao Paulo University. So, let's, let's talk then with the first project that I, to, I tell you. The first project is the Amoreira project. Like you say, the mulberry tree. I don't know why you say that in Czech. But anyway, you should know this kind of this beautiful and very sweet fruit. So, and the five small mulberry trees were planted in large vases in the city of Sao Paulo who responded to pollution, which begins to be deposited on their leaves, move and get rid of dirt. The capture of pollution is made through microphones, which misuse the difference um, in variations of noise as a symptom of various pollutants and polluters. The sway of the branch is caused by a motorized, motorized prosthetic attached to the base of each tree connected to brass rods cause movement in leaves and twigs. So, to say very shortly what this project is about. When you are in a city, it's, the most of the time you don't realize how many the dust, how many the dirt and the, and the pollution affect all of us. So, the project, the idea of the project is very easy, it's just to help it how to help the trees and to, to, to work with this all pollution and then you swing the, the, the branches of the, the, the trees to take off all this dirty, all, all this, all this, all this, all this pollution. And the same happened with us. So we showed this, uh, this uh, we, we were invited to to make a work in this cultural center, Itaú Cultural Center at Sao Paulo. So you show the Amoreiras over there in 2010, the, the first time. Here you can see a, uh, a little bit where you place this, the, the, this project. I want to place not inside this, this, this uh, the museum space, but outside in, the, in this big avenue. I'm not talking so much because we'll see a video about them, then you'll be more, uh, more interesting for you to see that. But anyway, you show that in the Itaú Cultural and also here in a other, in a other museum, in a, in a other artistic center that's the Tomi Otaki in 2012. Okay, let's go see the about this this project. There are some uh, key words that sh must be interesting uh, for you to know. The, the words are autonomy, artificial learning nature and environment so let's go again then you see the trees the mulberry trees in the in the in the in the avenue all right how it works let's go that in the in the in the works you can uh, you see here you have the sensors okay and uh, this in the sensors, 
uh, what you see, the, 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 the census works with, with, uh, with sound. Uh, how most, uh, when, when you are in the, in, the, in the street or the avenue, the loudest, the sound of the more the, the, the trees uh, react uh, with, the, with the sound. But react when you are inside a system, not react di directly at the same time. What's happening with, in which tree receives a different range of sound. So this tree, just to give an example, received from the, the, the sound from the klaxon from the from the street. This one received the sound from the from the subway, from the metro, and this one the, from the passerby people and, and so on. So the, the trees react in different moments from different kinds of sound. And what's happened in the middle of the day? They, they start to dialogue one with others. So they can also um, uh, learn with, uh, with the others. Okay, here you can see the prosthesis, okay, that you make. You call that the pr prosthesis, the poetic prosthesis, okay? that uh, that uh, are connected with the with the sensor here you can see in the in, in the streets here they are placed in the street they are so delicate and you have the rod brass hogs here that so kindly it started to shake the trees to help them to take off the dust that deposit in the leaves okay and they communicate one with this one, this with this one, and all became, and in the end of the day, what's happened? A kind of cybernetic and mechanical ballet. The trees became into dance. Can you imagine you were walking in a city, while you, you walk in this big street and avenue, and then in the middle of, 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 of then, you pass by, you, you are near to, to, to the streets, the streets state start to shaking, you know, dancing with you in the avenue. So, about this kind of this algorithm, what I can tell you? Okay, I just tell you this, this uh, you put all that in, the, in, in, in a system, it's a big system, so you don't need, if many people when pass um, closer to, this, to the street, they clap the hands, you know, and wait for the, 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 the manifestation of the tree, that the thing don't have like, like that. All the data is put in an algorithm, in a system, and uh, after a while, it it uh, it uh, react. Of of course, the the system you take also the uh, the sound you make, the noise you make, but it's not reacting immediately. But the day you put that in a system. So uh, let's let's show you that again. The the the. Just see you a, li a little bit about our backgrounds. You know, you see when you when you may want to make this uh, this project, we start with the tree. We start to plant in the tree about one year, because you want to, to when you need to when you want to show this this uh, this project. Want that to be the time of to have fruits. It, it's it just to say now is the moment. Yeah. It's the same moment now in, 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 in Brazil. Then you start to have, so we start to one year, one year before the time. So at this time you could have the birds in, 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 the, in, 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 in the avenue uh, and eat this, this kind of fruit and also the passerby. That's the interest also. So the people that walk in the street, they can pass in, in, the, in the street, they take some of this fruit and they can eat, eat this. The, the so you need also to take to take a lot about this um, this these fruits that you can see here you can identify I don't know what you say in Czech the word for the mulberry tea in Brazil we call that amores the fruit so let's also just do that very fast because then you see a video so it's, it's, you can see the 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 the, the, the artists from the the group working in the pro work in the box in the preset box 
Miss Stu Birkin. Okay. Just to show you some some videos more, some uh, photos more. Okay. All right. Then I can ask my my friend uh, there in Pearson, please. Can you show the video, please? Yes, we are starting. Yes. Okay, and then you just please you 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 call me and uh, and just finish, okay? Yes. We have a little problem with the sound here at the university, so we are just checking. Okay, no problem. I I I I, I when we uh, when wait here for the sound of, for the when you finish the, the video. Okay. Did you hear well the sound, you? No, I have no sound here. I can hear nothing. I see. Just a moment. It's not that video, it's the other one, okay? It's the, it's the Moreira video, it's the first video. It's not this. Yeah, this one. A petit problem technique, a little technical problem. <laughs> okay. One minute. It's all right now. I can eat. Okay. Sure. Amoreres est un projet artistique sur l'autonomie, l'apprentissage artificiel, la nature et l'environnement. Cinq nouveaux arbres ont été plantés sur l'Avenida Paulista, centre culturel et économique de São Paulo. Il est interdit de planter ces arbres en ville car ils polluent les rues avec leurs feuilles qui tombent dans les bouches d'égout et leurs fruits qui attirent les oiseaux étagent de manière indélébile les trottoirs, les voitures et les vêtements des passants. Donc, pour nous avoir une idée de ce qui ocorre, tout ce bruit qui est ici passant, tout ce son, toute cette ce barulheira qui est ici, nous invadons maintenant, ce qu'elle fait, de quelque sorte, O som ele tá, é um representante, né, de, é um sintoma de toda essa, essa poluição que está aqui. Tout au long de la journée, les apprentis, peu à peu, 
acquiert plus d'autonomie par rapport aux données reçues dans une dense dialogue d'arbres, de prothèses et d'algorithmes, faisant apparaître sous forme poétique le balancement parfois involontaire machinique, parfois dû au propre vent dans leurs feuilles. Então, cada uma dessas árvores, ela é tratada como um indivíduo. Então, ela é tratada de maneira independente. Cada uma delas recebe um nível, uma frequência diferente de som. Todo esse esse sinal, ele é dividido em diferentes faixas. E cada uma dessas faixas vai de forma diferenciada para cada uma dessas árvores. Ou seja, por isso que cada uma dessas árvores, ela reage em um determinado momento e de maneira diferente. Deux microphones captent le bruit ambiant. Ces bruits sont traités par un algorithme d'apprentissage artificiel qui détermine comment chacun des arbres se comportera. L'ordinateur communique par des cartes Arduino via Bluetooth. Celles-ci contrôlent les moteurs qui actionnent les branches grâce aux tiges, secouant la poussière qui se dépose sur leurs feuilles. A ideia é de sacudir a memória dos nossos quintais esquecidos, dos nossos quintais que a gente deixou para trás, nas nossas infâncias. Okay. Yes, I apologize for the little problem. Let's please go on. Oh, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, let's follow. In. And this is the kind of interest that you, you, you saw in the first project, the Amoreiras, to compose with those forces that are not visible, but are present uh, all the time without us realizing it that also guides several other works of the group as that des Luz. This is to be the next one that I show you. Okay, so let's go back again to our uh, presentation. We got okay. it. Okay. Okay, to this one. Uh, to this project, this loose, which has flows and movements that are not in our tracks and frequencies of the visible and audible, but somehow become noticeable. So, uh, that's very interesting for us that, that live in the, in, the, in the city, about when you feel about the insects, I don't know, mostly you, you should, uh, Repair in our city, how the the, the insects, the, the 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 mosquitoes and the other kind of insects, they turn around the 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 bubbles, are turn the the uh, the lights, and you know why? Because insects use the light of the moon and the stars as a marker of location keeping in constant angle to get to and from their breathing places. With artificial light of our electrical lights that you have in our cities, insects start to become confused 
try to get closer to the light sources, fly in circles, forming clouds attracted by light in endless loops. That thing is happening, but sometimes you, do, you, don't, you, you don't have power. What, what you do with the insects in our cities all the time when you, make, when you put on um, a light uh, and the street. Another interesting thing is, is, the, is the, this is the spectrum that the man, that we are able to see. You just see this, this is small spectrum. But uh, the insects, they, they, they are able to see a very large range. And the, the, and the other parts of this, this, uh, this, this range of the light, they are not visible for us. But that's also another interesting question. This kind of infrared light, uh, that attracts some uh, some uh, some uh, some insects is a wavelength that the human eye is not able to see yet it is a potent sexual attractor for the moose uh, two electromagnetic frequencies are covertly perceived through the ages under the monolight the moonlight or electric lights perpetuating the survival of the species. So, what do you have to go now for the for the the work? Our exhibition space features a cube of transparent LEDs, eight by eight by 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 eight, that emit infrared light. So it is a kind of light that our eyes cannot perceive. And the loudspeaker that uh, that in a frequency of sound that the, our ears also cannot uh, cannot hear, that respond simultaneously to the flow of passing by in another place, a region of house headlights as attractor conceal a higher game of seduction. So you have in a in a in the exhibition space you have this. Uh, this piece that that and and this cube here that's a kind of uh, extract a kind of cube of uh, outside that the flux of pass by like uh, insects that goes around and this um, and this cube. Let's go for the next image. The movement, the flowing movement of the visitors in the red light light area, is captured by a camera located at top of a structure, which films a top view of the area, a network, a mesh with camps and area and flow of people passing by. So when the, 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 the video taped that, did not want to know who is this, but he just captured the flow. He just captured the movement of, of, of the people and not the people itself. The acquired information simultaneously feed the system installed in the in the in the exhibition in the gallery. The system consists, as I told you, a cube of LEDs that emit infrared light and a Arduino board board that creates the relationship with the the analog and the, in the output and output. This data sent by the remote camera that turn the lights and and off generate movements and flow. This process is dynamic, simultaneously, and occurs in real time. Meanwhile, not a see or heard in the exhibition space. However, the body perceives these older frequencies. So, this is the beautiful piece, as you can see, is in the exhibition gallery. All the signs come from this cube in the infrared light so no one can perceive any alteration any anything that's happened in this cube of light and uh, the same happens with the sound the movement of the sound of the persons of the pass by the people in the streets is transferred it transformed in 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 the sound wavelengths here so you arrive in this piece in the gallery you can hear nothing and you can see not but just just go back for me. I want to show you something uh, uh, for our in the okay. I'll stop a little bit to show you my 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 um, 
a little bit about that because the sound is also another important component of this work. Okay? I don't know if you know the, the dog uh, the dog whistle. You know this one? Yeah? When you want to call the dogs, you know you <laughs> if you want to try, you know, I, I just you you don't hear nothing. If you have some 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 dog in some place, maybe they you they you answer for this um, for this uh, whistle call, but you can't because you are in a different frequency. So, what's happened in our brain when you make a sound? When you compound a sound like a stereo sound, you will have a different ranges of sound. You have one sound in this level and another sound in this level here. So you have the three D sound that you form in our brain, like that. So you have the 3D effect in our brain of the sound, like you have the stereo sound. But what you did in this work, you, sp you put the sound, the, the range of the sound, so close one with another, like this. So our brain make like that. And <coughs> he can't, he, he can't make the, 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 he can't fix it. Because they are so, the frequencies are so, so, so close. So what's happened when you are close to this piece? Let's go back to the piece. What has happened then to the piece? Let's show it for another angle. What's happened is... You, you start to feel not so good, you know? You can't see nothing because you are in another frequency, you know, that they, they can be heard by human ears. Also, this distant flow is converted to sound frequency, which cannot be felt by the ears. When you, but when we approach the work, you can, you can feel the reverberation and some discomfort in our butt. Yet, you can see or hear it. The light apparently remain transparent and do, and the speakers emit sounds that are not audible to humans. We know the LED lights of the cube are not visible in the spectrum of our vision, which will require an additional device for them to be seen. In this case, you are counting on the cameras of the personal Mobile phones belong to the visitors of the exhibition. By point this this um, mobile phones at LED cube with mobile camera, the visitors, as you can see here, the visitors can don't can then see an entire cloud of movements which represents the flow of pedestrians in areas captured by the camera remote transmitted in real time. So when you, when you put your, your, your mobile phone in this cube, then wow, everything will start to see the flow. That is very impressive and it's a very nice sensation. As we approach and surround the, the exhibition, you are placed in such a restlessness, this endless flow in search of light. The work is subtle, and the perception of the intensity in the change of lights is delicate. This loose is a work of contemplation, and the public in direct contact with the piece cannot locally interact with it. There is only the lead cube and sound system in a place. It's a work of reflection on interaction and sharing with one another. This loses a non light, an intense desire that bursts but does not illuminate. It is felt but not seen in the same manner as a dazed Icarus looked at the sun while it melted his wing on the path that led to nowhere. The light is only visible through mobile cameras that move around the land, transparent cube in an unveil operation that I cannot see. Okay, let's go then.
to the next project. All right. And uh, let's see again where you are. Okay. The next the next project you be the UV, UV, UV. There's a river that flows inside me. Okay, uh, this uh, this project was uh, was invited to take part of um, of a seminar that's called a uh, Fortes uh, Symposium that happens in uh, Maria Antonia University Center of São Paulo São Paulo uh, University. So many people were 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 invited. I was also invited. It was artists, architects, planners, whatever. Many uh, sociology, so many many different people asked to be to to make some uh, intervention in the east zone of uh, São Paulo. Okay, but I I have not uh, I, I live in a different part of this of of the São Paulo city, and I have no many contacts with this uh, in this area of this city. So uh, the the uh, the idea of the vortex, the vortex, the the, the 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 from this seminar, the people show choose an area. I show you. I start to show you. But choose an area that you 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 needed to to work there. So let's show you and uh, with a, to give you other images, all right? Okay. Okay. That's the is the re, is the is the project. So if uh, when I, I don't know this is is this is the map of São Paulo city with a lot of rivers that you cannot see. This is the is the kind of a vortex area chosen to 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 work in this place. So, uh, the area, the east zone of São Paulo, it's a, a huge place. It's about 300 uh, square kilometers in about 3 million and 6,000 inhabitants in it. Can you imagine how big it is? It's an it's, 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 um, it's area of the São Paulo city. São Paulo is a, it's a, it's a big city. It's about uh, 15 million people living, living here. So in this area of the city, you have a, a little, a very poor, some parts of that, a very poor infra structure. And also uh, the, the politics, they don't help a lot, this area of, of the city. So can you imagine about 306,000 million uh, Three million and six hundred thousand persons walk uh, in the in the daytime when the day starts. They go every morning to the center of the city, this area, and then in the end of the day they go back to the, to to their homes. It's like a country, it's like a, a, an Uruguay here in South America that goes inside the city that moves itself for for. A different place. So I live in in other part of, of the city. So I uh, what I, I would like to 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 do at, at, at this time. It was if I don't know a lot of East Zone, you call that Zona Leste in in in, in, in Portuguese. So I say maybe try to make a neutral zone. All right. So and. Uh, you choose then to to work in the in, in the areas select by by azar as some some area here to 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 work in this kind of vortex okay that was put by the by the by the organization all right but and um, I, I you you will come back about this um, uh, to what what you did in this in this area for the project but the uh, the let's go now a moment for the the kind of a vortex okay that's uh that's a thing that really interests me a lot you know the the that's uh, i'm i'm feel myself very very provoked when you observe the flow of the water in sink then Let's go back to me. I want I want to see you face to face again. Okay, just for a, a, a while. Okay, where I am? I don't want. Uh, okay, 
All right. I want to tell you about something about the thing that you see about, about the flow. One thing that's very interesting me a lot is that, I don't know, but here in the in the South Hemisphere, like I am, where I am here in Brazil, in Sao Paulo, the clock, the, the, the sink, when the water goes down to the earth, it goes in the, in the, and the count side of in this direction. When you are like you, like you are in the, in the North Hemisphere, what's happened with the camera? You go in a different way, in a, in, in a, it turns and the, and the water goes down in a different way. So I am I'm very, very intrigued with that. So, so once, again, once I have been in, in Ecuador, and I try because our body is composed of a lot. You have a lot of liquids and water in our body. It's about, I don't know, about liquids, about 90 or 90 or 5 5% uh, five, uh, 5 of our body is composed by liquid. So I went to the, to the Ecuador line and I want to be one part of my body, be in one side in the in south hemisphere and another part of my body is in the north hemisphere. Then what happens when you are in this middle? What's happened when you are in this situation? What's happened with me? What's happened with the uh, with the body? So that that uh, that for me it was the question. So I start to do that when you're talking about the 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 waste zone, and then. To talk a little bit more about the project. Let's again to the project. All right. So what's happened? Because I, I don't I don't want to do that uh, to, to, to talk about that why you have the, the, the different direction. But one thing that's uh, that uh, seems to me interesting to what what you did to to accomplish it, the the project. That's a river that flows uh, through me. We employ the dowsing principles. What 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 means dowsing? Dowsing you shouldn't have to see that somehow in the in the images. The the, the the people who who look for 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 water in a in a in, in a in a very interesting way. So this is the way that's happening. How the people feel, uh, but they don't, don't want to to. to to go in the technical questions at the moment now. I prefer to explain the poetical way. So we did that, use that, and you, is, you also building a kind of, um, of antenna, antenna, a kind of lightning arrestor to neutralize these zones, okay? So you do, do, I don't want to have another east zone, north zone, or south zone, but instead that, a neutral zone. So that you tell us maybe should the what's around the house. It's not necessary what is displaced and visible. So let's go there to the city. So you went to the city. That a place that I show you. Just walk, walk, walk around it randomly. You shows the, the, the area when you when when you want to 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 to, to walk. Yeah, looking for the curves of the curves of rivers and streams that uh, were not left or not left behind, not the linear and straight of correct flows, because what the people do, the, the people when they have a heaver, heavers and a flow, they they build the they build avenues, they build the streets over in the top of this this um, this 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 river. At first, we did not use any map or indication because we want to try to find signs as we walk. It was a question of seeking and discovery, of turning feelings and perceptions. We will get to place we do not go, we do not know, we do not know this this where this area before that you you haven't never been to, and the shape is nuances way indication will guide us. This was a question of searching. Try to identify river beds and stream beds now running in pipelines and constructions erect as a consequence. 
Then we started to random look for any sign of underground water and high, and high rivers. Then when the, during the weekend, in the middle of the week, and then you come back through straight, long, empty streets. Older were crowded with many people, traffic, noise, in a state of confusion. And older were now narrow, difficult to assess, alleys, slums, unfinished and provisional constructions that have been this way for several, for several generations. Then, one day, suddenly, Suddenly, from a raised area, we saw on the street that they have one cube design, a different extractor from the others, that we could visually identify the water flow. Emerged then, it disappeared in the back of a house. It was a stream. Here appearing from nowhere and then disappear. So you yes, so you find out on the street that and in the in a house in a house and 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 in, in, in the back of the house you find a river. So it was there a high the river a high the flow of water that goes to to the earth. So then you can see the river over there again and again. So you went to the to this street with two seekers of waters that you find out. That's a very poor place, uh, region, and in, in São Paulo. And then you find this the uh, these people to help us to find uh, the, the, the water. So they help us to find the, the to mark uh, the place. Uh, that it was a, a cluster of mulberry tree that you find in the, in, in, in the area. So we mark the site where we sense its presence. Then you ask local people to use the fork and sense for the water and the river. You ask them to tell us about their experiences and, memo and memories. Younger boys did not know about those paths, about underground rivers that used to flow on the surface, the older man said. There used to be a stream behind my house. It was clean, without waste, but then, when they, they built. Our concern of that moment was not to know. Here there are some slums or some very poor houses in the, in the area, as you can see. Our concern at that moment was not to know if the people could handle the work, the fork, and find signs of water. Hey there. It was the, with the perception of these apparent rivers, most of them poorly treated and polluted, and then developed of a poetic map with these histories and memories that were remembered and retold. Then, following the flow, we entered the slums, went over older streams inside the homes, and whenever possible, we took our antenna. As you can see, you give it the antenna to people bring it their homes it, and, and ask the people where, if the people have memories to uh, where have the, the, the rivers in, the, in, 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 in this area. Maybe many people, uh, and the question was, well, where is the sound that the, the river that are beneath our feet? Where is the sound? So we drew, uh, as you can see again, we drew graffiti at some of these points on the walls in the streets. And you give them antennas to anyone who wants to take them or place of them in their home to remember this invisible 
water flows. With some people of the, of the community, you mark this area, creating trails and routes of another flow, caring for this river among so many other possible rivers and streams, seeking to restore forgotten and erased memories. Finally, you develop a mobile application that reproduces the sound of underground water as you walk through. Then it was possible to pass through listening the sound of the water from the Hydro River, also passed by right there beneath our feet so you had uh, you you make an, an application with a uh, mobile phone so when you walk into this 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 place you could listen you walk in, in this area with your with with your uh, mobile phone and you could hear the sound of water from the Hyde River, also passed by Hyde there, beneath our feet, returning it to the, to, the, to the perception. Try to at least recreate the invisible water noise, a noise that could make us dream and perhaps act. So, So, um, okay, dear friends, I don't know how, how about the time, if I have a, another small project, if you want, or I can stop here. It's about you, Nathan, please. I think that you have another five, ten minutes uh, easily, if you want. Okay, okay. 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 thank you. So I go to the, to the next and the last project, okay? Let's go. So let's go back again to, to, our, to our screen, to the PowerPoint, to share it with you again. For the last project, okay. Okay, let's, if you're talking about the waters, again, let's talk a little bit about the water and these invisible tracks, the, these invisible lines, okay? This, then you talk a little bit about this, uh, this project. Let's go to uh, the meeting of waters. Here you are in the Amazon River in the north of Brazil. So, it's a, very, it's a very dreamy land, it's a very interesting one. So, but here I am in the, in the, in the, in the, in the river in the middle of the river to make this, uh, this, uh, this, pro this um, project. The meeting of water, the project, also speaks about of being next, next, without touching, but not emerging with. Speaking of this desired, but impossible encounters. So, I don't know if you know, but in the Amazon, it's a Google image. You have a part when the, 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 the river, Negro, he, he, he joined the, the river Soli, Solimões. They, they, are, they have very different colors. One, the Negro, it's very black tinted color. And the other, the, the, the Solimões is brown one. So what happens is a very interesting thing. They go together before the, 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 the form of the Amazon, the Amazon River itself. They go together about six kilometers. Can you imagine it? This, this giant river, the amounts, the so big amount of water. How they and they go, they go, they go together and they don't mix. So they create a kind of line between this this um, the river, the same river before they 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 mix up. And just start to be in the 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 Amazon River. So, and I wonder here you can see what's happening in 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 the, in, the, in the moment in this this two phenomena 
this is it's really wonderful when you have the, the boats river they they are they are together the deep and, and the water they don't mix so I was so 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 excited when I went there and then I jump in the water and uh, I want to be in the middle, of course, with I, 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 I um, and uh, half of my body was from one side of the 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 the, the, the water, the brown color water, and my other side of the uh, in my the other side of my body, it was in the in the in the other water column. So again, it's the same sensation. What means to be at the same time in one place that's not in the in the limits situation in the, in the linear. And the part that I'm, I am not to one side, I'm not another side, I am both at the same time. So, that is the problem. So here I went there and I took some, some images from this moment of passage for this, uh, for this, uh, for this imaginary line that I can, I can, I can. So, what was the project itself? Here, Another another beautiful image for this for this magical moment of the to be in the middle of this uh, this imaginary but uh, you can feel this kind of line. So the project itself uh, it's called in control, and uh, we take you took the the, the 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 word meeting in several languages, as I you say in Czech I suppose setikani. Yeah, you saw that in, in Brazilian and Portuguese in my language, you saw that in Contro. So, Seticani, in Contro, rendezvous, meeting, uh, treffen, petemon, pe, pe spoticani. So, in many different languages. So, what's happened then? Then you build it, you build it again. This kind of, um, of piece of work from one side here you have a, a mobile phone that walks uh, that, that goes and, and walking when the people go to the internet and in different languages in real time they they take they write down the word meeting in control um, uh, in in several different languages the older mobile phone works with the changes of tides the phases of the most so when the river changes the water of the ridge changes it it goes up and down it came is up and down and this make this kind of displacement so it's very beautiful because just in a, in, in in a few moments when this piece uh, walks What's happened then? Uh, when you have this string in the in the, in the middle, let me let me see you again a little bit, okay? I I, I want to show you a little bit. I I, I want to, to see you again. Come on, let's. Okay. All right. Okay. Can you see me? We see you very well. Yes. Okay, thank you. So that's when you have this um, um, this spring. Yeah, this, uh, that that you have uh, one mobile phone from one side that works when the people write down the word meeting in different languages in, in the internet. This other one works with the 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 the, the tides of, of of the the river and when the river goes up. And go down. So when you have a, a spring in the middle of this uh, cell phone, that's all happens in, in the in the in the real time. So the same spring that puts the the two uh, mobile phones together, it's the same spring that don't allow the 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 approximation of both. So just in the in the last minute, it is possible. So and what and then it happened. The, the the videos of the the the, the different colors of the, the the rivers it's also changing between when they have this kind of movement but only in the in the in the last minute in the last moment when they 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 can be together in the last situation so you can just feel you can just see 
when they the 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 water black and brown they mix a little bit but only this moment then you think they and they start again to be to see the 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 movement itself so i just go 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 back to see one photo and then you see this sh a very short video okay again so this this work is about the this the impossibility of me so that is the the piece itself that was shown in, 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 in Brazilian National Museum in Brazil. So you can see the different colors of waters. In this one, it was uh, in May in, in Wrocław, in Poland, in the, in the Media Biennale. That's uh, just to show this, this work. So please, can you can I, can I have the 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 video too, please? Yes. Yes. Now trying. Okay. Hi. Okay. Yes. So, yes. That's it. Thank you. Thank you for showing us how the artist can be involved and concerned by the life in the city, in the nature, blending art with technology, ecology, urbanism, we could say anthropology. Thanks for sharing Poetic Digitalis and uh, your enthusiasm and research with us. Thank you, Gilberto. Thank you very much, Nathan, and I, I thank you and all the, the, the team from the Lats Lab Sutna Faculty of Art and Design. It was, I was very, very, very pleased to be to be to you. It was an honor and a big pleasure. Thank you very much. And it is an honor for us also, a great privilege. Thank you for sharing you. all this, uh, those beautiful researches and poetry with you.
Au revoir. Thank you very much. Au revoir. Merci.